wants to The lights go down on the avenue Standing here So, so still And time flies on by Oh my Took a little walk a lot somehow In a little while we're safe and sound Took a little walk a lot somehow in a little while we're safe and sound The autumn's clean The winter snow We wandered through The afterglow Majesty All in around Time flies on by Oh my Took a little walk a lot somehow In a little while we're safer and sound Took a little walk a lot somehow In a little while we're safer and Never wanted any other, just want you. Never wanted any other, just want you. I know it's late, it's almost two. The lights go down on the avenue. Standing here, so, so still and tight. In a little while we're safe and sound Took a little walk a lot somehow In a little while we're safe and So there we go, that's a track called A Safe and Sound, and Paul from the Vals joins me now in the studio. Paul, how are you, sir? Yeah, I'm good, Robin. Thanks for having me. Good to see you again. It's only taken about 14 years to get back here, hasn't it? 14 years, yeah. Time flies, <laughs> as the song says. But, uh, yeah. So what's happening with the Vals at the minute? Because you're one of these bands that you're everywhere one minute, then you kind of disappear for a while, yeah. then you come back and shock us all with something good, and then disappear again. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of how it goes. But uh, yeah, so we, we had a period of, of kind of, we were really sort of busy. We we, we kind of uh, went to Germany. We, uh, we went over and played at some large sort of TV shows over there, and, and we, we kind of still ha have a, a great following from that, off the back of that. and. Uh, and then from that, we, we kind of went off on, on tour with Paul Weller, which was amazing. And we went all around Europe. And then we did our own tour again after that. And then uh, we kind of kept busy and we went on another tour with Roy Wood. And uh, so a busy period. And then we kind of just took a bit of a break for a while because all, are, 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 all the guys in the band are, are very talented and they have their own kind of projects and, and they kind of branch off and, and do their own thing, which, which is great. And uh, uh, But now we're kind of get back in again. We're, hungry again to, to kind of hit the road again and, and have songs on the radio again and, and, and uh, just be active again really so we're looking forward to getting back in. So when can we hear this? When can we hear the new material? Very very soon so we have a, we have a, a song called uh, The Letter which uh, which will likely be a single sounding great sounding and we're looking forward to hopefully getting a bit of radio playing getting it out there again so yeah it's exciting times. And you mentioned Paul Weller there. I've got yeah. to ask you about Paul because yeah. um, I had the pleasure of interviewing him one time. Yeah. And I'll never forget going into his dressing room and all he had sitting in the dressing room was a little bottle of red wine and a couple of packets of crisps. Oh my. And I said to him, Paul, that's hardly rock and roll. So well, how rock and roll is Paul Weller these days? Unfortunately, we rocked up to the, the Paul Weller tour the first night in Paris, expecting there to be, I don't know, drinking out of, drinking Harbour of gold goblets. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, well, not, not unfor unfortunately for us, but uh, Paul had kind of uh, slowed down and, and the old rock and roll lifestyle and uh, he, was, he was taking an easy with a, a coffee and uh, <laughs> a croissant and we were, uh, we were up for it. But no, it's, it's, uh, 
Yeah, st still a great guy. Really, really took us under his wing. He, he, he was very, very supportive. There's nothing more daunting than, than uh, being in, in, uh, on stage and playing and turning to your left and seeing your idol yeah. watching you on the side of the stage, which was <laughs> amazing. I'll, I'll never forget that. But uh, yeah, that was, that was a fantastic time. And so, so happy we've done that. It's kind of, we have been very lucky. And a lot of my idols as well, I always tell the story where I had this dream where we were playing on top of the pops with uh, the move. Uh, the zombies and uh, Man for a Man, and that all happened to us. We, we played with each of those guys. I, I, I actually told those people the same thing, and they looked at me kind of strangely. But uh, it, it was amazing to do that because that's a lot of where the influences come from. Is a lot of those bands from the sixties and stuff. So to, to kind of share the stage and, and see them in the flesh and, and, and share stories and, and share the stage with them as well has, has been fantastic. So recently we played, uh, as I mentioned, with Roy Wood, and that was a lot of old theatres around England and uh, like we had a fantastic time there. And because of the big Christmas song you kind of forget about the other stuff the Roy Wood's done. You forget yeah. it was in ELO and then you forget oh no the move as well. Yeah. You forget those groups don't yeah. you? Our first night was in uh, Newcastle and I think we were playing a show and uh, he had the whole horn section. Every song was a hit and uh, he walks off stage and I went God he, 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 mustn't, he mustn't feel well. He's just went off stage. Then he came on stage with bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So, uh, yeah, so we, we had such an experience uh, traveling around uh, with Roy. I probably enjoyed the shows with Roy more than anything else, yes, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd love to do it again. Uh, I suppose uh, uh, still in contact and stuff, so I'd, I'd love to maybe go out and do that again. And, uh, Definitely, yeah. A Christmas tour with Roy. What about the Manfreds? Oh, yeah. It was a great uh, show we played recently in Dublin and Vicar Street. And again, it's a lot of what I grew up listening to, Man for Man. Paul Jones, mm -hmm. Mike Diablo and stuff, and uh, played with the guys, and a uh, lovely bunch, and uh, re really talented and stuff, and so many hits as well, every song a hit. And uh, it was great after the show, actually, we finished and we came back into the dressing room in Vicar Street, and there was a knock on the door, and it was Mike Diablo, who, who has wrote hits, handbags and glad rags, built me up buttercup, all sorts of big hits, and he came in and he, he told us he really liked the songs, like the melodies and stuff, and he didn't have to do that, which that's, that, that'll stick with me forever, really. So. Uh, that was another fantastic experience. So we were very lucky to have a lot of our heroes and we've had the opportunity to, to share the stage with them and play with them, so, which has been and great. Talking about highlights and heroes, we have to mention the late, great Henry McCulloch as yeah. well, which must have been a dream come true, not only to get to meet the guy, but to have him actually play on one of your records. Yeah, that's, I'll never forget the day we brought Henry to uh, the studio, like a studio in East Belfast. And I remember it being a really kind of wintry day and he made it all the way, I think, from Balamoni, he was maybe living at the time, and uh, he came. I'll never forget the song. The song we always knew was, was, was got to be kind of popular, uh, we hoped anyway. And Henry came along, and the first obstacle was that he really liked the song. And we could never find a harmony mm -hmm. for this song. And right away, Henry got it. We could never really find where to fit a, a guitar solo or whatever, and right away, Henry was there. So, fantastic experience. Stories he could tell. Such a gentleman, so sort of unassuming as well and uh, just such a friendly nice guy and, and again I, I often tell people that uh, when we play that song everywhere we went it would be Paris or Bruges or, or Berlin wherever it's been we always dedicate that song to him every yeah. night and and at the end of the show I don't know how many people have come up to me and, and they've had a story about Henry or yes, how they've seen yeah. Henry and uh, yeah but I, again I, I always think that uh, we need to recognize Henry more lo locally I think it should be a statue. I think it should be so, yeah. something there because, uh, again, whenever uh, the Beatles broke up, Paul McCartney called on a, on a guy from from here yeah. uh, to be his guitarist, which yeah. is amazing. The only only sort of Irish man to play at Woodstock as well. Yeah. So, and Joe such Cocker's a special guy. Well, yeah, you know, yeah. He's done yeah. everything. Yeah. Dark Side of the Moon. Toured with Jimi Hendrix. As yeah, well, you know, it was, yeah. It, it never ends, and there's, uh, he, stories keep popping up with what Henry's done throughout his lifetime. So, such a special uh, mm -hmm. person and. Uh, Certainly, as, as long as we're playing, we'll always sort of recognise uh, a lot of what he's done for, for music here yeah. locally. What about gigs-wise for the Vals? Anything coming up that we should know about? Yeah, we're, we're sort of plotting. Uh, we have a very patient manager and, and, and a good friend, uh, Stefan, who is, is plotting uh, things for the, for the coming months and year ahead. And uh, we've been offered to head away to uh, Germany uh, initially to play a few shows and uh, maybe branch off to Austria, Switzerland as well, which is fantastic for us. Uh, so we'll, we'll all jump on the bus and uh, head off again, which is great. It's just great sort of, 
I think it's great, and I always try to pass this on as well, us feeling like a, an older statesman of, of uh, local music here now, talking about 14 years since previously, <laughs> but uh, I think it's great for, for Belfast bands. Sometimes it's great to have your mates coming along to shows and stuff and organising locally, but I think it's great to look outside the box because there's so many people out there uh, who could potentially be sort of into your music and, and, and you could sort of grow from there. And that's, that's kind of what we've done. And we've been very lucky to be able to travel to all these different countries just because we have kind of yeah. just sort of branched out and, and looked outside the box because it's there. It's yeah. there for the taking, definitely, without a doubt. You're going to do one more song before you go. What are you going to do this time for us? This song is called uh, I Was King. Is there a story behind it? It's, it's, it's a funny, it's one of these late night sort of things that, that came along. And again, it's kind of harking back to maybe uh, home here, Belfast. And, and I don't know, there's kind of a story there, a George Best sort of story of, of someone going away and, and coming back. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a song that uh, I really like and uh, one we've kind of been playing live and so on. It's, it's really click, so it's, it's great to play it today. All right, well, Paul, thank you for dropping in to see thank us. You, and don't leave it 14 years next time. Definitely not. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, 